internet. She comes, she comes home from work, and we're going to have a day. Well, we're going to have five or six hours out. So we're here, and it's called. What is it called, darling? San Juso Resort. San Juso Resort. Okay. Just to give you an update, it's the largest swimming pool in Davao City. Yeah, the largest swimming pool. So we're going to order some food. We rented a cottage for the day. So the cottage is 600 peso, brand new, clean, tidy, beautiful, very, very nice. There's the entrance that goes up towards the airport. So we are less than 500 meters from Davao International Airport. Okay, the sun is out. I got my hat on. This is the canteen over here. You can stay in these little cottages over here overnight or over here. There is internal parking, so you don't park outside. Yeah, um, and guess what? Because you're in a resort, you don't need a mask because you're going swimming or you're eating. So, there's the rules. Yeah. I came here yesterday to have a look at it so I could surprise Annie today. And Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. And it ain't busy because it opened on the 29th of uh, April. Uh, so it's less than two weeks old. We're in a swimming pool. Yeah. So you have a shower here, then you go in. It's supervised. You get a little waterfall. You get this little thing. There used to be a bucket on the top there that used to keep kicking over. But I think the bucket got knackered. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to have a little walk around. Up goes the uh, umbrellas. Very, very clean. See, Annie's over here somewhere. You can stay overnight, as I said. Uh, it's 3,000 pesos to stay overnight. And, uh, yeah. The water slides. We're going to use those later. Yeah. As you can see, it's waist deep. It's around four foot deep. Yeah, so no no diving, just in case you hit your head on the bottom. Uh, they've got a cooking area here, but I don't know where the cooking area is, but we'll find it when we're walking around. What's going through here? No, you can tell you can smell the chlorine, they're turning around and putting through that chlorine, washing it through. Oh look at that. Ooh. Cool, yeah? Yeah. Just a canteen? Yeah. Oh, are you open? Oh. You order food here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Annie's here. She's going to order some food. You, you can deliver to the Okay, I'll let you I'll let you sort out. Good for three. Good for three. How much is the three? What? What is the tartar sauce? is like a mayonnaise with pickles and onions and parsley and herbs, and it goes with fried fish. I surprised you, darling. It's your it's your day. You surprise me with what you're gonna eat and drink. Okay, I see you in a minute. So, cafeteria is really really nice. Food prices are really really nice. You can order you can order for ten, or you can order for three. So Annie's ordering for three, I think. Uh, but this is just it's mad. Do you know what I mean? Because it's. You've got these, this accommodation here, which is like a, a mini resort hotel. You can stay here. You've got all this parking. That goes up towards Buhangi over there. Okay. Ongeleto in the airport is up this way. Uh, and we're over here. We're in cottage number three. Because I don't really care what, what cottage I'm at, as long as it's clean and tidy, and I can get to my cottage. Yeah, look. 
got, this is set meal for three, it's 700 pesos. Comes with fried chicken, lumpia, some chopped suey, three rice, and then you pay extra for the coke and extra for the beer. Yeah? So this is 700. They don't actually make that food here. They order it, and then it's delivered in from a carinderia outside. Yeah? So, that is a little bit of a... I'm going from the shallow end. Which is here. To the deep end over here. Six foot. Yeah. I've got my hat on. The water is really, really hot now. Came here about an hour and a half ago and it was nice and cool. Now it's not really, really cool. Yeah. So we have Neptune. down these slides and come shooting out the end. Yeah. We'll try it later on without the GoPro. It also offers shade. Yeah. The shade. This area has some jet nozzles over here and it creates like a little whirlpool here you go round and round and round and round in circles like that yeah it's quite strange really how it works but it's very very relaxing so entrance fee 250 per head the little cottage 600 pesos you can stay in these little huts as i said the food we order ordered was 700 peso no drinks there is a uh, you can bring in your own food which is a 600 peso corkage charge uh, this is the first time i've used it been here and if i was using it again I would actually buy my own food because they don't make any food on site. Yeah, they don't uh, produce any food here. Uh, they order the food in. Oh, it's one of those little jets. It's massaging my back. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so it's massaging my back. Anyway, the food here, they phone up someone and it's made off site and it's bought in. So you pay 700 peso for the three, three, uh, three person meal, the package. Worth it? No. Deli served, uh, flimsy plates, plastic cutlery. Um, it tastes okay. It's not, not brilliant. Um, so. The resort has got great accommodation, it's got great facilities, but the food lets it down. So bring your own food. Uh, that's what you need to turn around and do. Bring your own food. Okay. This little jet has pushed me out across here, underneath the slide, and I've just come out back around here. Yeah. 
it's a glorious, glorious day today. But for me, in the middle of a swimming pool, take care. It's been a really, really nice day. Annie's been swimming. Yeah. She called to sleep. <laughs> if you believe it, I do not understand the Philippines. But here, why do the Philippines love the water so much? Yeah, it's it's amazing, isn't it? This place, 11 o'clock on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> 